hi there guys welcome back to the channel today I'll be doing some cabbage and bully beef or cabbage and corn beef as you would know it and here are my ingredients so these are what I'll be using to make my cabbage and corn beef so guys if you are new to the channel join the family hit that subscribe button give a thumbs up leave a like and a comment as well so let's go right into cooking so i have already washed my cabbage now i'm going to shred up my, shred up my cabbage cut up my cabbage and prepare it for steaming okay. guys Cutting up your cabbage, shredding up your cabbage. You can cut all the heart of it. This look up this hard part if you want to. You can cut it out and then you go ahead and cut it up. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just cutting it up as it. You can cut it up to whatever texture, whatever coarse or coarse or how fine you want it. So guys, my cabbage is already cut up, completely cut up. So I'll just go ahead and cut up my vegetables, my, my bell peppers. I have a piece of yellow, red and green here. So I'll just go right ahead and cut them up and I'll just add them there. You can also cut the veggies to all to all you want them. You can cut them however you choose. And I'll also chop my on my scallions. And I'm coarsely chopping my scallions here. My green onion. Some of you call it green onion. Cut my, my onion. And I'll just go ahead and use this one. I'm using a whole onion. And if you can see guys, I'm not mince I'm not mincing them. I'm coarsely chopping chopping the veggies. I'm coarsely chopping them. And at my time that is already washed. Add some scotch bonnet pepper. You can't go wrong with scotchy. And I'll also chop some garlics. These garlics are on the old side, guys, but we can't waste anything these days. We just have to use everything that we have. I guess they, are, they were in the fridge for too long, but guess what? I'm not going to throw them out. They can be used. So there you have it. Now I'm going to turn my stove on, put on my pot. So guys, my pot is on the stove. I'm going to use some vegetable oil. I'm adding some vegetable oil to it. About a two tablespoon of vegetable oil, just eyeballing the oil though. You can use whichever oil you prefer to use. You can use olive oil, whichever oil you choose to use. And I've 
already what I what I did was to toss all of my veggies together the bell peppers and the cabbage I toss it together with my hands so now I'm going to go in and add my cabbage Here that little sizzle and this amount guys this cabbage will shrink because cabbage does shrink even though you see it it is this much in the pot it will shrink it will shrink And guys, I'm not going to cover, I'm not going to cover this. I'm not going to cover, put any cover on it. I'm just going to allow it to allow it to shrink a bit. And then I start stirring it up. So as you can see here guys, the mountain of cabbage that I place in the pot is going down. It is shrinking, it is shrinking. And guys, my reason for not covering the pot is that I don't want it to spring in water. Because you know if you cover the pot, the steam, I don't want it to, I don't want it to spring this, this whole heap of water, too much water in the pot. So I'll just go ahead and, and stir up my turn over my vegetables just now I don't want the water in it so therefore I am not going to cover the pot I'm not going to cover the pot guys so I'll just go in now and add, um, add some black pepper no, this is my Italian season. That has in dry basil and parsley. I'll also add some garlic powder. I'm seasoning my cabbage. Some garlic powder. You would have put garlic in there already. Put in some garlic powder. Just put some onion powder as well. Some onion powder. And guys, I am going to add, I am going to add a cube, a cube of my Maggi vegetable bouillon. Just one cube, just one cube because it is salt, it has salt in it. It has salt in it. And I'll just mix this all up. Guys, it is smelling so good, man. You should be in this kitchen now. <coughs> Smells great. Smells wonderful. Combination of all the seasoning put together, the garlic, the onion, green onion. Yes. So guys, I'll allow this to continue cooking. Stay tuned. Guys, my cabbage is still going at it. Let me turn up the stove a little bit more. Don't want it too high because we don't want to start burning the vegetables before they are cooked. Okay. And you see there's not a lot of water in the pot. There's not a lot of water in the pot. If, if, if I had covered the pot, there will be a lot more water in it. If, if, if you have ever cooked cabbage, you'll know what I'm talking about. If I should cover the pot, then it will start the steam. Too much water will be in it, and I don't want the water in my pot. So we'll allow that to continue cooking, guys. We'll allow that to continue cooking. 
and guys I will be using um, the, the grace corn beef grace corn beef reduced salt so I'm going to go ahead and prepare this in a container into this in a container and I'll come right back so welcome back guys my cabbage is still still steaming and you don't want it too soggy guys you will want to have a little crunch in the cabbage you're not going to make it too make it get too soggy and guys, I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little butter, a little, a little butter to my cabbage. You don't have to add it. It is optional. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. If you're not into the butter. But I'm adding so a little to mine. Okay. and guys earlier I tasted my cabbage and I had to add another of my vegetable maggi vegetable bouillon to it because it was kind of too blunt for my taste for my liking so I add another cube of uh, vegetable bouillon to it so now I've emptied my corned beef into my corned beef, so what I'll do, I'll just push it all up, all up, and then just place it in there. Yeah. And I'm going to mix everything together. Mix everything together. I'll add some black pepper to that. Add a little black pepper to it. I'll just go ahead and stir and mix up everything. Combine it together. Combine the cabbage and the corned beef. The colors are popping, guys. Thoroughly blend it together. Make sure that the corned beef is evenly spread among the, the cabbage. So guys, here's my finished dish. My cabbage and corned beef. And guys, I served it up with, with some white rice and sweet corn. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this meal as much as oh, we are going to enjoy it. And guys, I'll see you in the next video. So please remember to subscribe to the channel if you like the video subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up and leave a comment bye bye